DJI have just released a big update for the Avata 2 that brings support for some of their older FPV products, things such as the DJI Goggles 2, the Integra, and the FPV Remote 2. Now, this video is going to give you an overview of what the compatibility situation is. I'm not going to go into the depth of the firmware update too much. Assume you're on the latest version, and what I'm going to do is explain to you what the situation is with compatibility, because as always with DJI, it's never plain sailing, it is always a little bit complicated, but hopefully by the end of this video you will understand what works with what, what the compatibility is and there's even a compatibility chart in this video as well to hopefully make understanding it a little bit easier. We are also going to talk about the ham file, talk about if that works, as well as explain a couple of things that you do need to be aware of if you are going to use the Avata 2 with these older FPV products because there are some things that don't work the same between the two different goggles types. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's Let's talk about the compatibility first of all. Now this new firmware was released on the 28th of the 5th 2024. I'm not going to go through the individual version numbers but you can see them here on screen. Now just something to be aware of, if you're having trouble updating to this firmware make sure you download the latest Fly app from DJI's website for Android or the latest version for iOS. You may find that your device does not offer you an update of the app. It may not push you to upgrade the app, especially if you're an iOS user. What my suggestion would be is delete the DJI Fly app that you have on your device. If you're Apple, go to the App Store and download a new version. If you're Android, go to the DJI website and download the latest version and install that. At the point of me making this video, the update isn't showing on Assistant 2 for FPV or Assistant 2 for Consumer Drive. Drones, the only way you can get it is via the DJI Fly app and you do need to make sure that you have updated all parts of your system to be able to use it so if you're using the older goggles and remote you're going to need to manually update them via the Fly app as well. So DJI's latest firmware brought support for the DJI Avata 2 on some of their older FPV products that you see here. Their newer FPV products still work with the Avata 2 without any problems at all but they've now expanded compatibility and whilst that sounds absolutely fantastic there are some things that you do need to be aware of because as always with DJI, there is a gotcha here and I'm going to explain what that is. Now on the left, we have DJI's older FPV products. And when I say older, I don't mean all of them. It is the more recent ones before the release of the Avata 2. So what we have is the DJI Goggles 2. You should also class the DJI Goggles Integra the same here. I don't own a set of Integras now to show you, but the Goggles 2 and Integra are identical from a compatibility point of view. So whilst I may be talking about Goggles 2, that also stands for Integra. We then have the FPV Remote Version 2, and then we have the DJI Love Toy Version 2. On the right, we have the DJI FPV Goggles 3, the FPV Remote Version 3, and the Love Toy 3. Now, this drone is now compatible with all of these. However, there isn't interchangeable compatibility. And what I mean by that is as follows. You can use the Avata 2 with the FPV Goggles 3, the FPV Remote 3, and the Love Toy 3, or you can use it with the Goggles 2 Stroke Integra, FPV Remote Version 2, Love Toy Version 2. What you cannot do, though, is interchange. So you cannot use the Goggles 3 with the Avata 2 with the DJI FPV Remote 2. You have to have it in what you're seeing here. So if you're using the Goggles 3, you can only use the FPV Remote version 3 or the Love Toy 3. And if you're using Goggles 2 or Integra, you can only use the FPV Remote version 2 or the Love Toy 2. Unfortunately, for users who went out and purchased the Avata 2, who already owned maybe the Avata 1 and was hoping that FPV Remote version 2 would work, it does. But what you can't do is use the FPV Remote version 2 in combination with the Goggles 3. Unfortunately, you can only use the FPV Remote 2 when used with the Goggles 2 or Integra. Now, with regards to some of DJI's older FPV products like these, the FPV Goggles version 2, unfortunately, these are not compatible with the Avata 2 at all. I don't expect these to ever be compatible with this drone. So here and now, the options are Goggles 2 or Integra, Goggles 3, and that is all we have here today for the Avata 2.
Now, there are a couple of other things that we do need to talk about in this video and a few things that you actually do need to be aware of. We'll start with the ham file. I can confirm ham works absolutely fine on either the Goggles 2, Integra or Goggles 3. In fact, DJI seems to have fixed the ham file. And what I mean by that is not only does it offer full RF power, it now fully unlocks the channel in C regions as well. So the ham file is working as expected. Don't worry, you will need to do it again after doing the update, but DJI haven't taken it away. It's absolutely fine. Every time we see a new firmware, we always get the questions, is it still working? What I will tell you is this, DJI have never removed one of these ham files, the NACO hacks in any of their FPV systems. There is no need to worry every time there is a firmware release if DJI have removed it. The assumption should always be it's still there because DJI have never in the last five years ever taken this functionality away. Further to that, there is the odd limitation with regards to using the Avata 2 and the older goggles that you do need to be aware of. When using the Avata 2 with the Goggles 2 and Integra, I can confirm it still can use the 5.2 gigahertz band mode, just like it can on the Goggles 3. So it is still tri-band in CE region or dual band in FCC. You still have full control over that. So you can select 2.4 or 5 gigs in manual mode in FCC as well. But there is a transmission limitation when using the Avata 2 with the Goggles 2 and Integra, and that is the maximum bandwidth mode available. We originally, on the Avata 1 and the O3A unit, had three bandwidth modes available. You had 10 megahertz, 20 megahertz, and 40 megahertz, basically equated to 15 megabits a second, 25 megabits a second, and 50 megabits a second. With the release of the Avata 2 and the Goggles 3, they introduced a new 60 megahertz carrier mode. Now that in theory should allow up to sort of 75 megabits a second, but DJI don't do that. On the Avata 2, they've limited it to 60 megabits a second. So whilst it is more, it isn't on the same scale more as we'd seen in the past. But they have this increased 60 megahertz carrier, which should help with overall penetration and link stability. Unfortunately, though, the DJI Goggles 2 and Integra are not capable of using that higher bandwidth mode. It is a physical hardware limitation. One of the big changes on the Avata 2 is the fact that it now uses the S2 chipset, which can do the higher bandwidth. As a result of that, when using the Avata 2 with the Goggles 2 or Integra, you will only have the three bandwidth modes available, 10, 20, and 40 megahertz. Now, what effect this is going to have on real-world performance remains to be seen. I'm going to finish this video doing some tests around that. However, I don't expect to have any main conclusions on it today. All I can tell you is, when using the Goggles 2 or Integra with the Avata 2, you are limited to the 40 megahertz carrier. You'll still have 50 megabits a second. It's just that it's a narrower carrier, and as a result of that, you may not have as good penetration performance or overall link stability as you would when using these on the Goggles 3. That high bandwidth carrier is only ever really going to be used at very low range. I suspect there will be a marginal drop in image quality on the live feed, but overall, I do don't really expect things to be that different. It shouldn't have any great effect on long range flying because you're never going to have 60 megahertz carrier at long range. It's going to come down into the 40 or the 20 very, very quickly. More than anything, it's a reduction in bandwidth at low range, which is going to give less data rate overall, which means you're probably going to give up a little bit of image quality and penetration. A couple of other little differences that's worth mentioning between the Goggles 2 Integra, the Goggles 3 and the remotes is the antennas and the RF system. So for instance, the Goggles 2 and the Integra have four antennas. Two of those antennas can transmit, which are the external two antennas up here and here. And then there's two additional antennas internally in the no section here that are receive only. So it's four antennas, two transmit, 
four capable of receive, whereas the goggles three actually have six antennas. You've got your two external ones here, two internal ones in the nose, just like on the goggles two, but there's an additional two antennas up in the headband. I did show this in my teardown video. So these goggles are capable of transmitting on four and receiving on six, which is a different setup to the goggles two. That means in theory, you're going to have better signal performance from these goggles compared to these but how this actually bears out in the real world remains to be seen but it is something I just wanted to highlight. There is also the difference in the remote controller setups as well. One of the big changes on 04 with the Avata 2 was the fact of this remote doesn't actually communicate with the drone now. This remote talks to the FPV Goggles 3 and the Goggles 3 send the remote signal over the OcuSync link between the Goggles and the drone. Whereas on the original Avata 03 with the Goggles 2 and the FPV Remote 2, this remote actually communicates directly with the drone. Now in my tests it still works the same, so for instance the FPV Remote 2 connects to the Avata 2, the Goggles 2 connect to the Avata 2, and these two are not talking in the same way these two do, so when you use the Avata 2 in this setup it basically works the same way as it did before, the remote talks directly to the drone, whereas when you use the Avata 2 with the Goggles 3 and the FPV Remote 3, the remote talks to the Goggles, the goggles pass that over to the drone. Now again, it's not clear what difference this will make. You can't still fly the Avata without the remote even in this setup, so as a result of that I'm not really expecting too much difference in how the user sees it and how it performs. It's just really a back-end change on how DJI do their links. I'm not expecting there to be any real latency difference here, it's just a different way of sending the communication over the link. Now one other just quick thing to mention with regards to binding, that has changed as well. It is exactly the same on the Goggles 3 and Remote 3 as it was before, so you bind the remote to the goggles, but as I've mentioned, now this remote talks to the drone, you now need to bind this remote to the drone rather than binding it to the goggles. It's the same process, press and hold the power button, it's just that you're doing different things, as I mentioned already, with the Goggles 2 and the FPV Remote 2, both of these talk to the drone independently, whereas with the Goggles 3 and Remote 3, the remote talks to the goggles, the goggles talk to the drone. Now one other thing I have tested is spectator mode or sharing the live view with another set of goggles. Now I only have one set of goggles 2 and I only have one set of goggles 3 and in my test so far you can't share between them. I've tested it with the goggles 3 as master and trying to share to the goggles 2 and I've tested it with the goggles 2 as master and trying to share to the goggles 3 and unfortunately they don't pick each other up. You can enable sharing but it just doesn't find the other set of goggles. I was sort of expecting this, but I was hoping it wouldn't be the case. Technically, there is a new RF chip in this, and it looks like DJI is using a different mode with this compared to this, but it is a shame. Maybe they will change this in the future, but here and now, if you did want to share, you're going to either need two sets of Goggles 2 or a set of Goggles 2 and Integra, or you're going to need two sets of Goggles 3. Now the last big question people will have is, can I use the DJI O3e unit with the Goggles 3 now? And the answer to that sadly is no. However, we honestly do believe this functionality is coming. It should be here at some point this year, we just don't know when. To try and sort of make understanding this compatibility a little bit easier, I have put together a chart that does explain the situation. Here you can see I've labelled it with the different drone types along the top and the systems down the side. So we've got the goggles, the remote controls and everything. And what I've done is put this chart together just to give you a bit of an easy go-to matrix to understand what the situation is today with compatibility on the Avata, the Avata 2, the FPV drone, the original FPV system and O3. You will notice that I have put O3 in a different colour and that is how confident we are that support for O3 is coming onto the Goggles 3. It's just that it isn't here today and obviously I will update this chart when it does come in the future.
Now, this chart will be listed on my FPV wiki. If you don't know what that is, it is where I upload a lot of information about all of the things I do here on the channel. Not only the teardown images and videos of the products we talk about, but also the latency testing and frequency charts and compatibility charts like you see here today. If you're interested in checking it out, there will be a link to it in the description. Okay, so we're down at the beach. We're going to try it between the two sets of goggles. I've got the goggles two on with the FPV remote two, first of all. We're in 4K60. We are in auto channel mode as well. Both setups are going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to take it for a quick flight and try and see what the differences are. I'm intrigued to see if the difference in antennas on these goggles, because remember, these only have four antennas with the goggles three now have six, makes a difference in how it now, this footage here is from the Avata 2 with the Goggles 2 and the FPV Remote 2. The footage itself is not important. It was really more than ending a couple of test flights so I could understand the overall performance and image differences between the Goggles 2 and the Goggles 3. The first thing to note is you can see here that the maximum bit rate we can get with the Goggles 2 is 50 megabits a second. That's as a result of that smaller 40 megahertz carrier. Really, all I did was push it into some places where I know I get some signal issues as a result of sort of my location versus the quads location. Here you can see the bit rate starting to drop on the goggles too. And then really just for me to get to grips with how the image quality was looking through the lenses and then hop over to the goggles three and see if I can tell any difference. Now this year is the Goggles 3 footage. I'm not going to show you a huge amount, but the first thing you will notice is that it is at 60 megabits a second as a result of that higher carrier bandwidth. Interestingly, you do have to put up with this DJI bonding system if you're going to swap back and forth. DJI do bond their aircraft to the remote and goggles, and I ended up having to do this on the beach. It did give me a few problems. In here, this is one of the areas where I do start to lose signal, and you can see that the goggles 3 and the goggles 2 both started to lose. Okay, so just in a couple of packs between the goggles 2 and the goggles 3, ended up having that bound issue so i ended up messing around trying to unbond it to one goggle and bond it to another i'll talk about that a bit more in the video um but with regards to performance signal penetration i can see no difference push it in some corners where i get problems and they both basically performed the same i am still expecting the goggles three to have the legs over the goggles two in this respect simply because of the additional antennas but it's going to be marginal with regards to the image quality, I will say that I think the Goggles 3 look better. Now, what I can't tell you is if that is the live view improvement because you've got 60 megahertz carrier, or is that the optics and the display on the Goggles? The Goggles 3 just had a bit more of a punch. Everything just looked nicer, a bit more crisp. I don't know if the sharpness is better on those Goggles. It could just be optics. I'm not willing to say... It's the fact that the Goggles 2 can't do the 60 megabits a second. I will say that the Goggles 3 does look a little bit nicer. It could even be the fact that you're looking at a smaller image, smaller field of view. You're not looking at quite the same size. But I'll be honest, the difference between these two is marginal. There is no one who is going to be unhappy with both. O4 looks really good on both. It's not just the Goggles. I just think the Goggles 3 do have the legs a little bit. This is actually a really good update and I'm pleased that DJI have done it. Although there's always a gotcha in the DJI update and that gotcha is for the existing users. Unfortunately, it doesn't bring anything for them. If you were someone that ran out and bought the Avata 2 with the Goggles 3 on day one, but you've been waiting for this support for the FPV remote version 2, unfortunately, it doesn't help you because you have to use the version 3 with these goggles. Really though, for people who already own some of DJI's stuff, it is a good thing. What DJI have done here is allow people who have 03 with the FPV Remote 2 or the Avato or even the FPV Drone to get a body only upgrade. You can just buy the drone and again it'll bring you into the newer system. It's just a shame that DJI couldn't have thrown a bone for the existing users with the FPV Remote 2. With regards to 03 we are hoping that comes in the future. Hopefully it won't be too long. Very confident it will happen. Unfortunately though it isn't here today.
Now, if you have found this video interesting, please do let me know what you think below. Any comments or questions, put it below. And if you have found this useful or any of the things that I do on my wiki, please do consider checking out the link to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. It is only through the support of my patrons am I able to keep doing the work that I do here on this channel. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content in the future, please do consider checking it out. I want to say a massive thank you to all of the patrons who already support the channel. We would not be able to keep doing this without your support. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. Stay safe. I will speak to you soon.